Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fun tutorial on this Movi Soft Nude Summer Look. It's pretty easy. It's using the new Tarte Palette featuring Graveyard Girl. So this is featuring her new Tarte Palette. It is a gorgeous palette. You see here you got nine shadows and then you've got a bronzer, blush, and highlighter, um, which I've kind of been using as eyeshadows, but you can kind of use them however you want. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can keep up with my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, so starting off, I'm priming my face with my Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. This has some blurring properties in it, so I'm just taking a little bit of that on my fingers and I am rubbing that all over my face. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to quickly do my brows. I am using my Anastasia brow pencil. Um, I think I have the perfect brow pencil. I don't know. I got it on sale. It works just like the brow ways. It's just a little thicker and you have to sharpen it. That's kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Um, it does the same thing. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly fill those in on camera here. put on I'm going to go through them quickly with my gimme brow this is by benefit I love putting the stuff in my brows to make sure they stay in place so I'm just combing that through there very quickly they have new packaging for this now and I have a new one I need to throw this away because it's like a year old but it still works next I'm going in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation this is their newest foundation and I really really am enjoying this it just gives you a nice glow to your skin so what I do is I put that on the back of my hand and I dot it all over my face first then I go in with my damp beauty blender and I pounce that into my skin. I really love the coverage on this and I'm in the shade 204 I believe something like that but yeah I just blend this in with my beauty blender and once I am done blending it down on my neck and stuff to make sure it matches I will then go in with my concealer I'm using my NARS radiant creamy concealer today in the shade vanilla and I'm just dotting that under my eyes on my chin down my nose and a little bit on my forehead and then I also blend that out with my beauty blender And to set my concealer, I'm taking my Cody Airspun powder and I am taking this little brush from Real Techniques and I am setting my concealer with this just to make sure that it doesn't budge. I'm not really baking or anything, I'm just dotting it on and then swiping it off really quickly just because baking creases on me really bad and I just brush it off right away. So. And now we are going into our Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette and I am first taking the shade Haunting and I am buffing that into my crease. It's this really pretty light lavender color and I realized that this wasn't really showing up in my crease. I wanted to deepen it up a little bit. So I then went in with the shade Man Cat, which is that dark purple I show you right there. Um, tapped my brush off. I went in with a different blending brush as well. This one's just a little more compact and it spreads the product a little bit better. So I went in with that into my crease as well. Next I'm taking the shade Big Baby. It's this really nice cream color and I am putting that underneath my brow bone just to highlight that area. And then again I'm taking the shade Uncommon and I'm patting that all over the lid and I kind of show you guys how it looks. I decided that that didn't have quite enough brightness to it for my eyes and the look I was going for today. So I actually went back in with hashtag SFS which is that top color and I patted that on the eyelid as well just to give it a little more shimmer shimmer. And then I decided I really wanted to make my eyes pop today, so I decided to go in with Gator Wings, which is the highlight out of the palette, and I put that just on the very center of my eyelids, and then I put it on the inner corner of my eye as well. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fiber Mascara, which is the newer version of the Super Sizer Mascara. I really do like this mascara. Um, it just takes me forever to put on mascara, so I fast-forwarded through a lot of it. So you'll see it jump all of a sudden, I'll have lashes on. 
and I really, really like this mascara. It does get a little clumpy on you when you first get it, but if you let it dry out for just a little bit, it really is a nice, nice mascara. And one tip I learned, if you are really messy with your mascara, you can buff it out after the fact. Um, you just let it dry and it flakes right off if you buff it off. Um, I am now going in with my next contour kit and I'm going in with that ashy tone in the palette. And I'm going to contour really quickly with this. Um, I'm also using one of my Real Techniques brushes to do this. It is the contour brush, I think from the complexion kit. I really, really am loving this brush lately just because it's nice and fluffy. But it's also pointed enough that it's very precise as well with your application. And then I'm going to go in with that warmer shade just to bronze my skin back up, just because the ashy tones can make me look a little dead. And so I go in with this warmer shade just to warm my skin back up and make me look really glowy and summer tan. And now I'm going in with a Wet n Wild blush in the shade Rose Champagne, dusting that on my cheeks. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution highlighter. I really am loving this highlighter and I'm using a Real Techniques brush. And then I'm showing you guys a couple of different lip options just because you can wear several different colors with this look because it is fairly neutral and you can really wear a pop if you want, like the Wet n Wild here for example. Um, I decided to go in with the NYX one and it is a NYX liquid lingerie lipstick and it is in the shade 09 Corset. And that is the final step to this look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys like it, like I said before, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below below to keep up with me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!